All right, so I have a very interesting video for you today, folks. This is Tony. Hope you're all doing well. There's this new video that's been going around, the story going around about a mall, of course, in Florida. I'm sure a few of you have already heard about this. Probably all of you almost have heard about this. And a lot of this, the videos out there didn't really get into any real depth on the topic, didn't really show anything relevant or like super substantial. Like there was not really hardly any footage of these alleged, of course, beings. And so I, I started doing some digging of my own to really look into this to figure out what was going on. And I got some interesting stuff to show you in this video. I, I have some ideas of what it could be. I'm not going to say what I think. I'm not, I'm not going to say I know what it is. Because to make it very simple, and what we're talking, maybe I got to kind of intro what, what this is all about. So, because a lot of, maybe some people don't even know what it is. Now, there was a video that surfaced of claims that there were aliens uh, in, of course, Miami, folks. And actually, I don't even know if that's the right term. They look like shadows. They were dark, of course, beings. They were eight or so foot tall. Uh, I wouldn't say that's necessarily the right word to use. This is what they're claiming. And it, ironically, it just makes you think of, it, it just automatically seems like that people go to this word whenever something strange happens. But what was really interesting about it was there was about 100 cop cars that showed up. So this was not some small thing that happened at this mall in Florida. As you can see here, this isn't even all of them. This is quite a few cop cars right here. These are all cop cars, by the way. This is not a little bit of, I mean, look, these are all cop cars. All. Like, all those are cop cars. And there's, like, actually more than what's showing. Not It's not even showing them all. There's more up here and there's more down here. So, <laughs> it wasn't a small presence. Let's just put it that way. Now, of course, the, the main official story is that it was just a few teens, maybe 20, 30 teens that were li li lighting off fireworks. I can't speak for some reason. Uh, yeah, 20, 30 teens lighting off fireworks, causing a commotion. And this is what somehow brought about turning off the power in the area of not just the mall, but sort of that part of the city, uh, bringing 100 cops in, uh, multiple helicopters, all for 20 or 30 kids lighting fireworks off, apparently. I don't... And they, and they arrested four. So to me, this doesn't sound right. That a story, just something ain't, something's missing, obviously. I mean, 20 or 30 teens lighting off fireworks. Oh my goodness. Wow. 100 cops? I think you only need about 10 max, not 100. I don't think you need multiple choppers and turning off the power either in the area. Okay. I don't think that's required for 20 or 30, uh, you know, teenagers at any rate. So, that's the official story, of course. And, and of course, also, when when they're talking about this whole topic of there being beings, there's these shadows. There, some are saying they're shadows. One guy was saying that he saw everyone running, so he just joined in. Uh, let's see, which which guy was that? Because I got so many windows open. Uh, where are you at, man? I know you're around here somewhere, I think. Did I close that? Okay, maybe I closed it. <laughs> Okay, maybe I close it. I don't know. I had so many windows open, I probably closed some accidentally. Yeah, so there's a guy, and I don't have it in front of me for some reason, uh, that uh, basically was claiming that he saw everybody running. So he started running with them uh, because he saw old ladies running. He saw overweight people running, and he said not like a normal, like like they were really running. Like you don't see old grannies running like this. Okay, this is what, this is what he was saying. He, he knew something big was going on. So he just started bolting himself. All right? some African-American guy. Uh, and he said that he finally looked behind him to see what everybody was running from. And he said he saw this, this being and it was black or dark looking and it was, it was coming towards him, and then it would disappear and then it would reappear closer. So like, it's kind of like those movies where you see like some sort of like uh, like a haunting or something. It just sounded kind of, kind of creepy in that respect. But where, did I have it open? Uh, I'm trying to find out if I had it. I, I don't know. I guess I closed it. I don't know. It's, it's kind of annoying that I closed it. But at any rate, so we're getting into this. We'll get into a number of things as we get into this video. First, though, I'm going to mention food supply. And like I said, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. There's a guy. It sounds like straight out of a sci-fi movie what this guy says happened. And there's actually some video footage that kind of relates to what he was saying. 
I'm going to show you as well. He was saying that there was something that went on. Like someone literally brought a device into the mall and turned it on and then it opened something up and then these things came out. This is what some guy's claiming. I'll get into that. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about all the different stories that are surrounding this. I don't believe, pretty much, I don't know what to believe, okay? Because from what I can tell, none of it makes sense. And it all sounds fantastical. Theoretically, it's possible, I guess, because we've seen a lot of other strange things happen over the last year. We had that story in South America, right, where allegedly some, you know, beings went, of course, after some town there or village. Then we had the one with the Las Vegas, you know, where something crashed in someone's backyard. That was a strange story. Then we had, of course, the balloons. So we've had a lot of strange stories. But before we do so, folks, food supply, 25-year shelf life. Link is in the description. Four weeks worth for $177. Best price they've had in four years ever since I started doing this, folks. It's $530 for three months worth if you buy three of these. All right? So, or you could just buy one or two. Whatever you want, it's the best price they've ever had. Link is in the description. Take advantage of that right now, folks. Also, of course, this book here, The Lost Ways, How Your Great Great Grandfather Lived Without Electricity. Considering all the stuff going on around us, the WARs that seem to pop up left and right lately over the last few months, might be wise to have it just in case something else happens or it gets bigger, right? And of course, we don't know what else will all happen in 2024. Best to be prepared. Get the printed version. It's like $37 plus shipping. Hundreds of pages illustrated how to for anything you would need to know how to do around your house if you didn't have electricity. Also, of course, gold and silver is linked below. And my website, GR Videos, which I'm uploading exclusive videos over there covering some really interesting topics. Even some of the topics I used to cover back in the old days. Things I can't exactly, you know, cover, you know, over here. Let's get back to the video. So, like I said, there's a lot of interesting things going on. Some are claiming that even airports were shut down. I don't know if that's true. I tried to do a search, and I don't. And the reason why I say I don't know if it's true is people were saying this happened that airports around Miami were closed, but I can't find any evidence of it. When you do a search on pretty much any search engine, just take your pick, go do a search. You won't find anything on it. I couldn't find anything. However, I did find something rather curious. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. So there was some claiming the power outage, right? I did find something on that that was kind of interesting. Uh, rollover crash causes power outage in Miami Gardens, right? So that was kind of interesting because that's around the same time frame. So I don't know if that's related or not. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I just thought that was kind of interesting. So there, but some are saying, well, they're just not reporting on, you know, all these things that were. You know, power show. Of course, if it's just a, uh, a a small section of the city, maybe they won't even talk about it. That's also another factor to the whole thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so I was trying to check something really quick. Okay, let me just check this really fast. I'm trying to see where, where this is at. Scroll out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Miami Gardens is in Miami. And I'm curious if it's in the exact same area. Uh, well, I'm not showing on the screen. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's it's in Miami. So I was just trying to make sure I was right about that. So now, like I said, so you have all these articles telling you that it was just a bunch of teens. Now, some are claiming it was 10 or 8 foot tall. And they didn't say aliens. They said dark figures. And actually, here's a picture of what it may have, one of them. This is one of the pictures they're claiming is it. So actually, that's interesting that they pulled up this picture here. Um, because I was wondering where this picture came from. I saw it earlier and I was like, where did that picture come from? Because I wanted to kind of vet it a little bit, right? Um, that's curious. It's even in one of a more official news outlets putting out this picture. So that's kind of curious. I don't know what to make of that, but perhaps that is from this scene. I don't know. Uh, they're claiming it is. So if it is, that is interesting. I mean, we, we don't have any size comparison to really make of what this is it does look strange it doesn't look like a human really so uh, that's interesting but let's get into some of this so there's a lot of things to cover in this folks yeah here's the guy this is the guy I was trying this is the guy I was talking about earlier so this is the guy here that was saying that 
he started running as soon as he saw everyone else running, even old ladies and stuff. He's like, oh, there, there must be something really big going on if there's old ladies running like full speed, full tilt. Granny's running full tilt, folks. <laughs> you know something big's going on when Granny's running full tilt, right? You got old, old, old ladies running as fast as they can. You know what I mean? That's kind of funny, actually. So he said that he's, he's the one that said that he looked behind him and he saw this uh, dark, shadowy thing. Uh, but he said it looked solid. It didn't look like you could see through it, but it kept reappearing. It would disappear and reappear. Now, like I said, there was a guy who said, ah, there's so many things. Maybe I'll show this first. This is interesting. This is another thing I've seen. Look at this. This is kind of interesting as well. I don't know. It, it, a number of things have been going on in Florida recent. Check this out. Let's see if I can get it on. I don't know if this is the right or the best. No. I got so many different. Let's just do this one. All right, let's play this. You can see this light here. It's just moving up. What is that? You know, it's obviously not the sun. It's some, you know, you may wonder what that could be. What is that? The guy wipes off his camera to make sure it's not just some lens flare. It's nighttime, folks. What is that? It's not the moon. It's not the sun. Look, it just disappeared. What is that, right? So that was something that was seen. Um, now they are, of course, unfortunately, a lot of these are grainy footage. And the reason why this one's grainy, I saw the original. It's because the guy, my goodness, it's because people don't know how to use technology, folks. It simply comes down to that. This guy was using a camera to film what was on his already phone. So he's filming a film. That's why it's so blurry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can see here people running. So let me just establish this part. You can see this guy here is running. See? Running. Okay? Very obviously running. Let's back this up. There was something seen. Now, this is right outside the mall. So they were literally running out of the mall. Now, there's something that was seen over here. It looks like a flickering light. But, I mean, I don't, I don't know if anybody... Okay, so... If you were presenting fake evidence, you would try to put out some really eye candy stuff that looked great. You know what I mean? And you would like, it would be something that would be like, so, you know, oh, this is a kind of like fool's gold. Gold. This case, the guy's got very little to show, but he's emphatic on that. This is it, man. This is, this is the, you know, this is shows the, the, the lights flickering and this weird aura thing going on in the mall. You can see here, some weird black stuff over here. And and it's kind of like the lights acting strange over there. Unfortunately, got TikTok's got these goofy arrows here, which are exactly in the way. You can see here this weird shadow stuff going on. Um, obviously, the guy needs to know how to use a phone properly. You should just download the video and then upload it rather than trying to take a camera on your phone or something. <laughs> That's why we get grainy footage every time, folks. It's because people don't know how to use technology. So... At any rate, um, that's supposed to be what this other guy's talking about, apparently. This guy here said he was there. Let's see if I can get it on there right. Okay, there we go. And he and he's an artist, and he's drawing out what he saw. And maybe I should just play this. It is really strange what he says. I mean, it's strange, folks. Let me just play some of this. A bunch of teens, and they had this little, they had this little fucking box, like a little DVD player type thing, right? And they were like, yeah, watch, watch, go ahead. And there was a whole bunch of them. They looked all nerdy. They weren't like thugged out. They were, I mean, they all dressed nice and shit or whatever, but. Let me just say it myself, folks. I, I could tell the guys, uh, it's not the best audio either. So basically he sees a number of teens they're well-dressed. They're kind of nerdy looking. They're carrying some sort of device. They bring it into the mall. They plug it in inside the mall. And I think from what I could tell from what he said, the food court, it's sort of like a food court that's sort of in the center of the mall and there's multiple levels so you can look down on it. He's on a higher level looking down on what they're doing. He says they plug this thing in and then the lights in the mall start flickering. And this thing starts having like some sort of like what would you call like a bubble forming around it like like some sort of weird electrical uh interference bubble growing around this thing that they plugged in it starts glowing this i'm just telling you what the guy said i'm not saying that's true and then he says it starts glowing 
And then he sees something step out of this this bubble. It's like a first you see a black leg st- stepping out, and then you see a black arm coming out, and then a head, and then this thing steps out into apparently the mall, and that's when everyone starts running. And this thing was like eight or ten foot. This is what the guy's saying. And this other video allegedly is of that happening. This this video I showed you earlier, or showed you it stills of earlier. This guy's trying to draw out what he saw. And this is allegedly how it all started, according to the story. Okay, I'm not saying it's true. I'm just telling you what they said. Um, and it kind of sounded like a like a like a sci-fi, you know, movie or something. Like like literally the sci-fi channel type of movie. You know what I mean? This sounds like something the sci-fi channel would make. Uh, <laughs> but um, it could be. I don't know what what's going on here. We've seen all this bizarre stuff over the last year or two. Who knows, man? Honestly, I don't I don't know what to believe anymore. But uh, the fact of the matter is, so he says and it, it starts coming out of this this bubble, this uh, like electrical uh, interference bubble or whatever it is, some sort of maybe portal, whatever you want to call it. It comes out of this and it starts looking at everybody and observing them and watching them and staring at them. And then it starts going after people and then they're, they're running. And, and this is apparently when this other guy assuming all these stories are even true, which, you know, maybe they're not. That's when this guy says he starts seeing people running. So he starts joining in and then then he claims that this thing's behind him. So that's kind of tying all these stories together. I'm not saying they're true, but it is interesting. This lady, and I can't show it because it's so blurry and I can hardly read it myself. You won't be able to read it at all. 61,000 homes without power at the time this all occurred. Some lady captured it on, uh, on her phone and I think this is probably the fourth video showing it so if I show it it'll be just like a blur on the screen you won't even see it but <laughs> that's how this stuff works folks you got to find the originals I, I can't find the original and I don't want to spend five hours trying to find it but um so you get the idea right uh so power was out so I found a uh, 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 an official story claiming power out in that area I found a screenshot from someone's phone showing 61,000 homes without power at the time that this all occurred. Um, this is also another video that's going out around. This is the best footage I could fit, the most clear footage I could find. I don't think this is what they claim it is. They claim that this is the, some object, some being walking around in front of the cops. So the cops, I don't think, saw anything, folks. That's why you'll see if the, uh, let's just, we don't know if this is true or not. This could be completely not true. But I mean, if it was true, I don't think the cops really saw anything. And the reason why is for one, you have this here. Uh, it, uh, these beings at a Miami mall, police say, LOL, ha ha ha, right? Because maybe they didn't even see anything. Maybe it was already gone by the time they arrived. I don't know. 100 cops show up. They usually arrive late anyways. <sighs> I remember one time I saw something happen. And then like literally it was like an hour later, the cops showed up. I'm like, bro, oh, good job, dude. Wow, they already left 30 minutes ago. <laughs> you know, it's like all over. It's done, man. Why do you take so long to arrive? Um, you know what I mean? It's just kind of funny like how that works. But uh, what was I going to say? Um, I was going to show something. Oh, yeah, this this footage here is when the cop cars were already arrived. It's, and, and actually, I'll tell you what this is. It's probably just three people walking. This is All the other people show a very blurry uh, video of this. I'm going to show you a very clean quality version of it this is the cleanest i could find uh check this out so you can see it's three people walking one two three and you can see here's the cops walking it's not one being walking around it's three people walking i don't think the cops probably even saw anything other than these teens apparently there was according to some a fight with teens after this all occurred okay uh (laughs) And this this is this is this is how people are describing it. Now there are also are other videos surfacing saying it was just a bunch of teens fighting and, and causing mayhem and fireworks. And this is sort of fits in with the official story. It was just teens, fireworks. And actually there was, from what people are saying, there was a fight after this all occurred. After this whole beings thing, there was some, you know, teens afterwards uh having something going on. But I don't think this is actually a legit this video here. Now, it might be true that that's what all happened, but I kind of doubt it because why would there be 100 cops? Why would you have 100 cops for 30 teens? It doesn't even make any sense. But 
this video here that they claim is from the event, I don't know if it is because if you go do a search on Google for Miami malls and, and things like that, you'll find like lots of stories, a plethora of stories of teens like doing things like fighting at malls in Florida. Apparently it's a, a very common place weekend thing or something. I don't know. This I, I think this video is actually from a, a month ago or so. I don't think this is actually from what happened five or six days ago. So people are just throwing up videos like, oh, it's teens. Oh, it's aliens. Oh, it's this. And I'm like, you know, all these, I, I feel like these people don't do any research. They're just like really just quickly throwing something up so they can get views or something. I don't know. Uh, but there's other people. There's this guy here. He was, he was there. He says, they all seem to correlate pretty well. There's actually three guys. Uh, they're all pretty much correlating. Uh, yeah, here we go. So here's someone else that wrote a comment. Of course, who knows? These people could just be making up comments. I mean, we don't even know what's true because you can, you got AI these days. I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, you could pretty much make up anything anymore. Uh, was it at the Miami mall yesterday and the, and the GOV is lying folks there. There were no kids fighting. Everyone just started panicking because they saw these creatures walking around. They didn't make any noises or sounds. They just stared and watched you move. Uh, he says he tried to make a video, but he has a one X. What do you got? Like a camera from what do you got a phone from the night, like year 2000 or something, bro. A 1X, really? <laughs> I'm like the worst with phones. And even I have phones better. Well, I had, I just bought new phones, but I had, even my old phones were way better than that, dude. Come on, man. 1X, really? Uh, okay. And then you have this guy. And this was really interesting as well because um, this guy said there was just kids fighting, but then the reporter said that the kid, this, this guy being interviewed wasn't even there. So how would he even know what happened? Like, what? I don't know, man. It's just a lot of confusion. But there is there is something interesting I want to show you. This is at another mall. This is in a mall in China, allegedly. Now, we can just analyze this and figure out if this seems legit or if this is not. You can let me know what you think as well. As well. But again, same idea. Something opening up at a mall. This is in China. Now, I don't know if this is edited footage or not. So we'll just watch it and then we'll talk about it. All right. It looks like something opening up. Obviously something happens right here, whether it's this light or something else that was there originally. These people are all, all freaking out. Obviously it's not just some, you know, people fighting because you wouldn't be acting like that falling over your chair. You're sitting in a chair. You don't fall out of your chair, dude, unless it's something pretty big. It ain't normal. Whatever happened here ain't normal. Whether it's this light that's showing here or something else happened here. It's not a normal thing that happened. It's clearly not just two people fighting or something dumb like that, right? So we know that at least. Now, whether this is real or if it was just added in, I don't know. But there was clearly something that happened right here that was not normal. You can see people walking up to it. Like, this is not... People don't act like this if it's just, like, people there. I mean, look, they're, like, cautious. Like, whoa, what the... Whoa, whoa, what's this? Clearly something was right there. Was it the thing that they showed on the screen? I don't know. But clearly it wasn't normal, whatever it was. And people were falling out of their chair. You're sitting down. You don't fall out of your chair while you're sitting down unless, you know what I mean? Like, it's got to be something different happening, folks, for that to happen. Um, and that was in uh, that was in China, a mall. So that's strange. What, whether or not it was the lights they showed there on the screen, it was clearly something very strange that happened in a mall. And it wasn't normal, whatever it was. So I, so I tend to believe that they definitely saw something. And I don't think they would have just erased people. So maybe that's actually what they saw. I don't know. Or maybe they kind of made it look better. Like maybe it didn't show much. It just showed a little bit of light. And then they just like added to it or something. It could be that too. I don't know. Um, I'm just guessing. But at any rate, so I'm just talking about a lot of the stuff um, that happened with this whole thing. And let's see, what else? Is there anything else? So also, like I said, they, they just arrested four people. And it was fireworks, folks. Fireworks, uh, sorry. Sorry for shutting the power off to 61,000 homes in the mall. Sorry for bringing 100 cops out for no reason. And 
Also, by the way, we're not going to charge the, the, all these people that caused this ruckus for us wasting so much city dollars bringing all these people out here. We're not going to do that. We're not upset about this as the cops. We're just laughing. LOL. <laughs> Wasn't any beings. Completely ignore that. All right. So, uh, pardon my sarcasm. But, uh, so, you know, like I said, so you have option A. It was just teens, which doesn't seem to make sense with the situation. Option B, uh, beings showed up, which sounds very fantastical. But who knows these days? Never know. Or option C, some sort of hybrid of all these topics. I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm kind of wondering what some of you guys think about all this. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.